Thirty years ago, strange metal airships appeared in our skies. We didn't know who it was or what they wanted. Friendly at first, they shared their extraordinary technology with us. Harry and prospered for a time. But one day, they simply decided we weren't worthy of their favors anymore. They dealt the first strike, and Junor was obliterated overnight. Against such tremendous power, we realized how powerless we were. The remaining nations formed an alliance under the banner of the Consort, one that might stand a chance against them. After years of countless sacrifices and senseless slaughter, the tide began to turn. We began to hope again. Little did we know that our enemies were about to unleash their most terrible weapon. The Corrosion. Oversized two-handed swords, right? Who in their right mind would use such a stupid weapon? Some kind of insecure kid with a hero complex, no doubt. Or maybe some other kind of complex, uh, if you catch my drift. Now, <clears throat> really, you can barely lift it off the ground, and by the time you haul it to your shoulder, your opponent's blade is already running through your chest. <sighs> Ordo, if we put your theory to the test... <sighs> will that make you shut up? I thought you'd never ask.
Bravo! Really nice, gentlemen. Now that you're properly warmed up, will you guys help us tidy up the storage room? I didn't enlist to stack crates. Come on! The punishment was for the whole platoon. Face up to it, Syl. We're here because you questioned the commander's orders in front of everyone. Don't be like that, Darian. One day, you and I will share everything. As husband and wife. <laughs> Ugh, still doing the clingy girlfriend routine, Syl? I thought Darian told you he wasn't interested. Oh, oh, but things have changed, buddy. Would you mind getting back to work? We're supposed to be doing this together. Things have changed? <laughs> what? What changed? And here I go, ignored as usual. Darian has agreed to go on a date with me. This again. Wait, what? When? <sighs> she got me. I lost a bet and... She chose my punishment. It's not a punishment. Spend one hour on a date with me, and you'll realize I'm a keeper. You'll be begging me for a second one. <laughs> Whoa! I guess congratulations are in order. I'll play the game, but don't get your hopes up too high, Syl. Oh, so this is where you guys are. Hey, Kino! I've got mail for you! Did you bring sandwiches, too? You wish, Fatso. Choke on your mother's ashes. Letter for you, Ordo. Nice. And one for you, Darian. Your sister, as always. Thanks. Sorry, nothing for you guys. Nobody loves you. Deal with it. The usual. Whew. It's cold out there. I'm gonna take five. Man, I'm in no rush to go back to HQ. It's so tense over there right now. Everyone's on tenterhooks. Why is that? To now. Maybe they're getting worried too many people are deserting these days. Nonsense. They know how to deal with deserters. Always have. I heard something about mounting a large scale counterattack. I don't know when it's supposed to happen, but. Hey, Darian, what's with the long face? It's. my mother. She caught the corrosion. Ah. Uh. Man, that's rough. I'm sorry, I... Shut up. In a situation like this, it's better not to say anything. What are you gonna do? Ask for leave, mate. Go to her. Commander Cora likes you. He might just let you. It's been months since they gave anyone leave. Cora needs me. He won't let me go like that. But... It's your mother! I know! But what choice do I have? <sighs>